So today I want to talk about critical illness insurance. Um, critical illness insurance is not a very well known or understood product for the public. It's primarily designed to pay a lump sum similar to life insurance if you're diagnosed with a major critical illness. Um, typical critical illnesses are uh, cancer, heart attack, stroke. Um, the top three claims are those, but there is a number of different other uh, illnesses that you're covered for. Um, many people tend to think that they don't need it, but uh, it can become very valuable for, for people. And I'm going to give you a story. Um, I have a client that, uh, husband and wife, they were um, uh, commercial cleaners for offices. And they each took a $50,000 critical illness policy. That's all they could afford. Um, and the wife was diagnosed at age 38 with stomach cancer. She only survived 14 months. But while she was uh, going through this, uh, her husband um, neglected his um, contracts for cleaning uh, to look after his, his dying wife. Um, now, most critical illness policies uh, pay out after a 30-day wait. There's a 30-day wait. So, so after 30 days, I actually handed them a check for $50,000. And he was able to um, hire people to continue his contracts and clean the offices. So it actually achieved two things. It, it, it helped them financially, and it actually helped the life of his business. It helped him continue his business while he took time to look after his wife. So it does work, and, and it's something that you should really think about. Critical illness payments uh, are paid regardless of income, regardless of, of employment. They're, they are paid um, in a, in a uh, 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 you have the diagnosis of your illness, you get paid. That's basically it. There's really no, no uh, uh, difficulty with it. Um, it's something you should really think about. It, it's, it's something that most people um, use the payment to pay their bills. Uh, they use the payment maybe to go on vacation to recover from, from a critical illness. What a lot of people use it for is to seek uh, a second opinion. A big part of the critical illness policies that are out there have a thing called best doctors in it, which allows you to get a second opinion on your critical illness. Um, uh, they won't actually pay you to get there, but they will pay you for a referral. So maybe there's a doctor in California who's a specialist. It could save your life. And, and, and so it's a very valuable thing to have, and most people should consider it.